Well, we've been telling you about the groundbreaking gene editing technology known as CRISPR. The recent advancements are nothing short of extraordinary, especially in fighting cancer. Judy Goldberg shows us why now more than ever doctors are so encouraged in tonight's big idea. It's a molecular tool that makes it possible to modify specific cells. CRISPR is, simply put, the ultimate tool for manipulating life. CRISPR, short for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, has been recognized in the medical community for its work in editing the DNA cells of people, plants, and animals. Yeah. Scientists here at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory on Long Island call it a revolution in progress. CRISPR technology is the workhorse of our research. Since the inception of CRISPR, Dr. Chris Vokic and his team have been applying this technology to the discovery of new cancer targets. And together they're working to develop medicine to fight the deadly disease. You think of antibiotics as medicines you can take to melt away bacterial infection. We're trying to do the same, but for cancer. Fox 5 first visited Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory back in 20. 2018 when CRISPR was emerging. Dr. Valkage says since then a lot has changed for the better. CRISPR five years ago involved cutting out pieces of DNA in a very precise way. Now what we are doing is really subtly changing the letters of DNA and it allows us to get a more refined understanding of cancer biology. An exciting recent development out of University College London sheds light on CRISPR treating patients with blood cancer. A 13 year old patient was the first in the world reported to have received a base edited cell therapy to achieve leukemia remission. The approach known as CAR T manipulates normal immune cells in a way to trick your system into rejecting cancer cells. While Dr. Valkic grows cancer in a lab setting instead of working with patients, he's able to apply CRISPR to reveal vulnerabilities. We manipulate molecules in cancer cells and we go hunting for these rare vulnerabilities that make cancer cells different from normal cells. So far, scientists have had amazing breakthroughs growing cancer cells in the lab and when it comes to long-term aspirations of biomedical research. The goal is to cure genetic disease in people by applying CRISPR safely. Sky is a research scientist who spends six days a week in the lab. She'll tell you finding a cure for cancer is a commitment. It's like cooking. You have a recipe and then you change the recipe to make the meal looks better. Advances in CRISPR are also underway at Hackensack Meridian Center for Discovery and Innovation in New Jersey. I would say it's kind of on the way to becoming part of mainstream medicine. Where scientist Dr. Ben Tycho uses the tool to model mutations as tumors progress in several types of human cancers. We're all impacted by cancer, either ourselves or in our families, and so this is very important. As technology gets more precise and robust, scientists vow to continue the crusade, paving a path in modern medicine. I would say in my lifetime, we will see diseases cease to exist because of CRISPR technology. Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.